How you doing? I am doing great, dude. How are you? Man, could not be better right now. About to kick off the championship and as close to home as we've ever been. The um, All right, before we get to that, before we get to that, and I definitely want to get to uh, uh, Nitro Cross, do, do I have to congratulate you from something from over the weekend? I, it's been three years since I've won a rally, so it's been, uh, yeah, that was it was a great weekend. Um, you know, a couple people had some trouble. We took advantage of it, man. I tell you, I'm, I'm 40 now. I'm I'm getting old, but we're still trying to <laughs> trying to throw it down with the young guys. <laughs> but you know what? You say that, and now let's get to well. First of all, congratulations! I saw I saw that you won that you won the, some big race over the weekend, and it did say it's been a couple of years, but whatever. You know who cares? You've won it more than I have. The um, no, nah. <laughs> the no, no. But Nitro Cross, and you say that, dude. That Nitro Cross stuff looks like no joke, bro. It's so fun. We've been, it's basically motocross with a roll cage. We've just been thinking about like every person that wants to drive and wants to go fast. And you, and you look at, you know, everything's getting, um, getting more the same, you know, all the tracks are pretty much the same, the safer barriers, you know, the restrictors, this is the no restrictors, zero to 60 and 1.2 seconds, hundred plus foot jumps over under gaps, cars flying over other cars, hitting each other in the air. It's, uh, we had an F1 world champion, Jensen Button, came came over uh, two years ago when we first started. He's like, this looks like so much fun. He didn't hit the jump. He was packed up and at the airport before before we were done our practice. So it's not for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You know what I give you a ton of credit for, though, Travis, is like 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 you said, you you've done God knows you've done a million things in your life and have done things that people would sit there and go, I wish I could. But you've had the balls to just go out and do them. But you know what I love about you? You just keep inventing and inventing and inventing and inventing. Well, you know, at the end of the day, if you wake up with a passion, um, you know, it, it's worth it. And, you know, my uncle was quarterback for Denver Broncos. He was University of Maryland uh, football, um, you know, and he made it two years in the NFL and got knocked out by a uh, high tower from police Academy back, uh, you know, in 69. And he said, look, it's no matter what you're doing. It's not worth the injuries that you're going to take. But if you love what you do, ride that train till the wheels fall off. And it's, um, it's a different mentality for sure with the family that, that I was brought up in. Um, but at the end of the day, I've loved every second and woken up every day. I mean, not every second. been a lot of injuries, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's been a fun ride. Hey, so, Travis, let me ask you this. If you were to, like, I've watched, I've watched videos of, of, uh, of Nitro Cross. I watched the video for the upcoming race at uh, Richmond Raceway, which will be September 7th and 8th. If somebody hasn't had the luxury, because it's easy to go, it's easy to hear and go, oh, Travis is, Travis is running these races. Um, it's going to be at Richmond Raceway, so it's a short track. Uh, it's an oval, but it's, it's not that at all. That just happens to be where you're doing it. But like you said, there, there, there are jumps built into this thing. There's ramps built into this thing. I don't even know what you call like that high arcing dirt thing where cars don't go flying off the edge, but you're rebuilding Richmond Raceway. Absolutely. So we're basically building, you know, a hundred foot gap jump. Uh, in the center, uh, kind of over right in between where the pit area is or, you know, pit row and where the NASCAR guys go. So we'll be on the banking. Um, we got big jumps in the middle, basically where they always park the, the semi trucks and whatnot. We're racing all through the infield. So these cars, I mean, we have everything. I mean, Cowboy Cerrone, UFC champion, he's going to be out there um, in a Volkswagen bug. So we have a bug class <laughs> and these guys are flipping over in every corner. They're absolutely horrible cars. They're slow as can be and completely entertaining. And then you got the Can-Am class where you have a lot of, you know, 12, 13 year old, I mean, kids, but they're absolutely fantastic. And, you know, coming from uh, all the iRacing, the Sims, it's amazing how young these kids are. They're doing great and uh, taking all of our jobs, you know, all the old guys <laughs> kicking our butts. But, uh, you know, then you got the lights class, which is uh, supercars, you know, 600 horsepower vehicles. And then the top class, it's a thousand horsepower vehicles with a push to pass that makes them almost twelve hundred horsepower. These things are so fun, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's motocross with a roll cage. It's going to be uh, something that that hasn't really uh, definitely not on the East Coast yet. Hey Travis, didn't you build like a test circuit for this at your at Pastrana Land out at your house? So we built a, a, a test circuit for like the Can Ams and just flying vehicles and. You know, with all the the Jim Connor videos, where we shut down Annapolis. Sure, uh, we 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 proved that we can fly cars safe-ish. You know, obviously you you know if you land short or long, you're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> but <laughs> 
but you know that's what makes it so intense it's cool for the crowd to see you know vehicles that are that are flying and doing this and um, we've been having a, a lot of it's been tough finding drivers i mean you know some of the top nascar guys kyle bush got a fourth in one of the races um you know we had a uh, chase elliott he qualified for for two of the, of the four that he tried out for and you know he's done really well um but it's mostly the off-road riders the the american rednecks the uh the uh you know the, the baja 1000 guys that are actually doing really well because they're just not afraid to take the risk required and you know at the end of the day it, it's not a, a safe sport but it, it's it's safe enough and they just we're just trying to get these drivers to understand you know kind of so dana white sorry to talk so much but dana okay. white comes over from from you starts ufc right. right and you have boxers and you have wrestlers and uh you know jujitsu and all this stuff and the top guys in these sports weren't really willing to, you know, a boxer is not going to be willing to go down to the ground with a wrestler. And that's kind of where we are with this sport where it's like, how can we have the most fun, the most excitement? And maybe we're going to have to start building these new athletes kind of from the ground up. And it, it's been a really fun process. So is that kind of where you are? Cause like you say, like whether it like take Kyle Bush, right? Like, like you mentioned him, first of all, if I'm, if I'm one of his sponsors or if I'm like, if I'm the owner of his car, I don't know that I need my former NASCAR champion um, out doing jumps and, uh, and, you know, in, in, in flipping cars, I could see where that's a problem, but you're right. At the same time, he could be really freaking good at it, um, and this could be a whole this could be a whole other series for him. No, without a doubt, and you know, kind of working side by side with NASCAR on a lot of these different tracks, and you know, they're trying to get a, a younger demographic. And hey, I'm just trying to have fun. I can, you know, the the more years that I can continue on with my friends, traveling the world, you know, pushing the limits, but in ways that are a little bit different than than what's out there. I mean, you know, I was I got, you know top 10 at uh, one of the nascar races back in you know 2013 and i'd crashed across the like the finish line and i was so bummed i'm like man i had a chance to do better and my dad goes you know i would for for lack of a better word but i, I would give anything he, he said a different uh different yeah, right said, i would give i would give anything to have been able to slide backwards across the finish line at 180 miles an hour in a car <laughs> and you're bummed because you didn't like win the race he goes you know you got to go out there and have fun because driving's fun. He goes, that's why we go and drive. That's why we go and ride. And, you know, with that attitude, it's kind of like, that's what we really want to do. And you know what? And I'll tell you this. I was watching a video. You had some group, and forgive me for not knowing them before I watched your video, but you had some group called the Sickos that were out at Pastrana Land out at your house. And I was watching you, like, drive them around in, like, that four-seater where you were like, all right, just remember, if we roll, keep your arms inside, <laughs> not outside. And I'm like, wow, thanks for all the rules, uh, Travis. But the um, – and then, like, they were trying to jump cars. And I still remember back in the day you said, hey, Elliot, Diane, come out here. We'll flip motorcycles. Now, I, uh, but the um, – <laughs> but I still regret not coming out there and doing all that stuff, especially when I hear you talk about, like, oh, yeah, it's kind of safe-ish and it's kind of fun. We just want to have a good time. I still wish I would have done that. Well, how about this? We, You're welcome anytime. I, I get vertigo, welcome, Travis. So I get vertigo. <laughs> I get vertigo. Well, all – all the sickos, they came out and learned. So four of the seven took a backflip to dirt on a motorcycle on their first day. Really, one of the guys hadn't even really ridden dirt bikes. I would not recommend that. That was a oh, crash course. Okay. Uh, no pun intended. Um, but to go to a foam pit is, is not too bad. But even if uh, if you guys have a chance this next uh, week or two, when we're down there testing at the Richmond track, um, I know it's not that close, but uh, I'd love to take you over the 100-foot the gap jump in, in the vehicle. Oh, my uh, God. You guys were oh, interested. my God. I would love to do that. I just think jump in a car. And by the way, can can we talk about like so 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 Nitro Cross is is a whole tour, right? It's it goes it goes all over the place is is what I read about Miami happening this year or is what I read about Miami possibly happening next year? So Miami is going to happen um, in January of this year. Our season goes when most of the other racing seasons are in the off season, I got you. Um, as a new startup, we just, we want to pull as many drivers as possible. And, you know, to be frank, if they're making, you know, $5 million racing something else, they're not going to come risk their lives for, for free for, for a good time <laughs> um, in the middle of the, well, they, they're going to do it. They're just not going to do it in the middle of their season. Right. <laughs> so, um, no, it's, it's been, it's been really fun, but we're trying to work kind of around a lot of the other championships and just, 
just see what we can make it. And like I said, with Dana White, um, you know, we've got awesome backing and he's right. you know starting to build these heroes and uh, build this sport into something that, that really I think has legs. But Travis, in Miami, people are got, like drivers are going to be jumping cars from a barge to land. So we're still working with the Coast Guard. All oh. the, the fire and the local police. So we, the track is not fully designed yet. By year two, I know we can pull it off. So that was talking talking to the mayor of Miami. He was like, "Let's go." He goes, "We'll we'll get all the boats out of this harbor. We're hopping across. We're doing this." And Coast Guard was like, "Uh, <laughs> wait one minute." But that's the the cool part. We have to prove that we can get the attendance. We have to prove to the the towns and the cities. I mean, Ken Block shut down san francisco right to drift around the city and he got paid to do it so it's like there's, i mean some people are smarter business people than others but at the end of the day that's our goal is to be able to prove that we can bring in tourism that, that it's worth it um for these cities uh to to really kind of open themselves up a little bit like we were really fortunate that annapolis you know kind of let me uh, do it do a similar thing to what yes. Ken did uh, out there in, in san fran and Definitely, thanks to to all the all the locals who came to support. Um, you know that were really when some of the people were like, "No, you can't shut down the city." They were like, "No, let's see it." You know, and uh, <laughs> it was it was the most fun I've ever had in, in my life, probably doing that. So, hey, Travis, um, but yeah, this is it, it, this this it'll keep growing. It'll keep growing and getting bigger. Miami this year will probably be a more simple track, but our goal is that every year the tracks build, they get crazier, they get more fun. Talladega banks rights and lefts, big jumps, over under crosses. It'll be good. Hey, by the way, you like you mentioned NASCAR and driving NASCAR a couple of years ago. Did, does does your relationship coming out of there make it easier? Like, obviously, the one on September seventh and eighth is at Richmond Raceway. You mentioned Talladega. Does having been a part of NASCAR like that helps out? Right, it has to. Um, you know, honestly, all the NASCAR, the drivers, the teams were all uh, amazing. To, to me and everyone's like oh i bet they they roughed you up or they did this i'm like no they just everyone's trying to win but it, they really took took me under the wing if you will even denny hamlin um i didn't hardly know him and i get on the i get on richmond was my first nascar race and he waits for me coming out of the pit lane to let to show me the line around the track and kind of like and we weren't even on the same manufacturer we weren't on the same team oh, wow. so i mean I, I was really fortunate i think a lot of that comes from the motocross um, you know, a lot of the NASCAR guys grew up riding dirt bikes and, you know, CNX games. And especially now with some of the younger kids that are coming up, like they grew up fans of, of Nitro Circus and stuff like that, which is I'm in a really cool position to be able to, you know, just go in direct contact with with, you know, most of the top drivers and and have that that mutual respect, which is really cool. Hey, Travis, I want to ask you a question seriously, though, like, you know, like in, in, in certain sports, you'll hear that. So and so was born with I don't want to say like something genetically that that was different, but like the the your ball, you're born tall. You have you know, you, you have longer legs, whatever it is. But there's there's something genetically when you in some athletes where it's like, God, no wonder they're so good at that. Are you? Yeah. And do you have well, in, in rally? Right. So in rally, all the, the top drivers are they have photographic memories. They they can memorize. So we have to take in so much information on what's coming up without ever knowing what the road looks like. And they can basically, if they see it one time, because you get to make you know one run through the woods, 140 miles, and they remember all the corners and all wow. the crests and all the main details. Um, with NASCAR, it's not only the intelligence or the the talent of the driver, the raw talent, but also the the intelligence to be able to understand what the car is doing how it's working, what they need to change. You know, I, I qualified, um, I was front row, I was, you know, came in, in uh, fifth um, in uh, uh, Nebraska or whatnot, and on the, the first uh, set of stages, you know, where you come into the pits, and I'm right. like, oh, cool, car's perfect. Yeah, we're doing great, man. We got a chance to win. I went out there, it was like Talladega Nights. I was like, were those the other cars? <laughs> you know, they come in, they, they make the adjustments, and they, they're always, every lap, they're like computers. Right. No, Scott Speed is a computer, and he came from you know, F1. And it, it's hard to beat a computer. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, were you were you born though? Do you have do you have any fear gene in you? So it's interesting now. Even you know having kids, um, I have one daughter that the more she gets scared, the more time slows down for, her, and she that's where she thrives. And that's always how I was. You know when when everything hits hits the fan, I kind of start giggling, I start talking faster and thinking faster, and 
that's my happy place. Whereas a lot of people, when that happens, they completely shut off and they're like, I don't want to be here. Right. <laughs> hey, are the um, are are your kids going to follow in your footsteps? I feel like they're getting pretty close. No, they they enjoy the, the driving. They can ride dirt bikes. Uh, they're nine and ten, but they're both both into to cheer like one hundred percent. I'm a full cheer dad now, so it's uh. <laughs> I didn't think throwing them into flips and, uh, uh, you know, tumbling and all that stuff was, was going to um, be teaching them cheerleading. But uh, evidently, it was, it was great training as kids. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I wanted to point out before I because I know I got to let you go here in a second. Uh, uh, Nitro Cross, it's not just the racing. Like, it's a whole it's a whole event. There's there's music. There's all there, everything is going on. Yeah. So this is look, if one thing that we're good at is entertainment and, and joining up, like I said, with with Dana White. You know, from the moment you get there, there's bands, there's activations, there's you know fun stuff for everyone to do. As a father, if, if my kids aren't having fun, I, I can't go there on my off weekends. And this is something that when you go, there's freestyle motocross, there's BMX, there's um, you know skateboarding. There's never a, a dull moment. And these events are all you know five seven minutes long. So it's just one event after the next. Just go go go. And um, doesn't matter if you like you know. I know a lot of people aren't really into the electric car, especially my dad's generation, but you see these things take off. It's like a spaceship. And then if you like the, the loud noise and the pops and the bangs and, um, you know, just the general carnage of the <laughs> the lower classes, you got kind of got a little bit of everything. So definitely come on out. It's, uh, it's six hours well spent. And then last thing, we were talking about this last week. Would you ever consider, and again, you've done some... I don't know if stupid is the right word. You've done some questionable things in the past, <laughs> Travis. Would you would you ever go over Niagara Falls in a barrel? <laughs> you, you know, I I really wanted to go over Niagara Falls with a with a like a sea dew and a parachute, and then I, I saw the one guy try that didn't, didn't work out well. So uh, I'm going to learn from other people's experiences. That, you know, I, I like to keep my odds in, in, in the favorable position. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nitro Cross Racing <laughs> takes place Richmond Raceway September 7th and 8th. Travis, you're the best. I appreciate the time, my friend. Elliot, you're the man. Talk to you soon, bud. You got it. Thanks, man.